The House of Representatives have accused security agents of complicity in the violation of the ban on interstate travels aimed at mitigating the spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria. The House also directed its relevant committees to investigate the alleged complicity of the Nigerian police and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps in the violation and come up with better ways of curbing the identified lapses. This followed the adoption of a motion by Ndudi Elumelu and nine others. Elumelu expressed concerns that despite the ban, Nigerians were assailed daily with troubling images and videos of people traveling across the length and breadth of the different states of the country. And joining us live is Olushegun Ogunbemide, Sector Commander, Lagos State uh, FRSC, to take a look at this conversation. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, very quickly, what's your assessment of interstate ban of traveling? Uh, well, uh, I'd rather say the compliance level is not as high as expected due to the recastrant individuals that still feel they have to make this movement despite the directive of the federal government. Right. Now, so, so what's your reaction to the allegation of bribery collection by your men, unfortunately, and other security agents who are supposed to be manning this post and making sure that, you know, no one is moving to territories or places where they are not supposed to be going to at this time? Yeah, a series of allegations have been made, but I would rather talk on the one that I'm sure of. Go ahead, please. I, I'll, I'll have a start uh, this morning that I'm talking to you. I've never heard of any arrests or indictments involving the men of Federal Safety Corps, especially in Lagos State. So that's what I, the least I can say. All I know is that the men, that's the FRC operatives, have been given the mandate, which is to stop interstate movements. And our men are at the point with other security agencies performing their roles accordingly. We have also heard of incidences where people who have genuine reasons to be on the road, like pregnant women, uh, were delayed by motorists, uh, were delayed. And these, again, were attributed to alleged corrupt officers, you know, who wanted them somehow to bribe their way out. How do you respond to that, sir? Well, I tried to do a kind of Ricky when I came into the state on Thursday. I moved to the Long Bridge end of the blockade, and I realized that naturally, because of the vehicular traffic level, there's always tendency for traffic to build up. And majorly, the traffic buildup that you see are caused by the articulated vehicles that are allowed by the federal government on essential services, either carrying goods and services for the benefit of the citizens. And in between, you also see essential vehicles, which most times are lights, cars, saloons, that also want to make their way through. So the tendency for these little delays to take place is natural. And that's why the main idea to expedite action, do the necessary search, and release the traffic at that point. And that's what they've been doing. I saw it yesterday, and I tried to intervene to some extent.